dead. Oh, seriously, you're camping? That was weird. going on SD fam so today we got a little bit of a special video for you it's been kind of requested by you guys you guys wanted us to do a how to reverse boost in black ops cold war first we're going to talk about what skill-based matchmaking even is skill-based matchmaking was a system put into play by the developers activision treyarch uh, infinity ward they were put into place to basically keep all players in certain brackets so you've got low level players, or I'm sorry, low skill players with low skill players, medium skill players, with medium skill players, and high skill players with high skill players. The problem is it doesn't intermix any. So a high skill player will never see a low skill player or a medium skill player. They just, they see themselves in a constant fight for what is a meta grind at that point. One of the reasons skill based matchmaking in this game has failed is because it doesn't actually have a rank system. Now, with most games that do have skill based matchmaking, or at least where it's implemented, such as like Rainbow Six Siege or um, uh, Apex Legends, stuff like that, you have your skill brackets and you can actually see in what bracket you're in, whether it be copper or you know bronze, platinum, plat 2, stuff like that. You can at least tell where you are progressing at. But in this game, there's it's all hidden there's nothing that as us as players we can see it's just you know numbers it's like oh okay you got a 2kd okay i've seen 2kd players go against 2kd players and trust me the same 2kd players are not the same 2kd players they don't belong in the same bracket they're not even close and that's that's kind of where skill based matchmaking especially in this game fails because no one can see what their actual rank is plus it's, it's just annoying now this can be tiring, especially if you're a good player. And I don't, I don't really know how this works for not so good players. I'm sorry, I'm not a bad player. I'm pretty decent at the game, so I see more of the higher end uh, skill brackets. Unfortunately, that does make things more of a meta grind, I guess, if you will. Um, and it, it it just gets annoying after a while because not everyone wants to have to sweat every game, especially good players. We just want to chill sometimes. We get, Believe it or not, guys, we have jobs too, and we just want to come home, kind of chill, you know, and have some fun. One of the hardest things to do is camo grind, especially if you're a good player. Like, if you're trying to get the rockets, for say, if you're trying to get those gold, it's such a pain because you're in lobbies that are just everybody's running MP5s or M4s or, you know, Craig 6s in this game or stuff like that. And everybody's running these full tilt meta guns and it's just it, it, it gets annoying after a while. And there's there's no fun, really, because then you end up losing. You go like super negative and it's just like, oh, all right, well, I guess that's that's that. Like, I'm not looking to go super positive with a rocket launcher. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. So one of the things about this Call of Duty and even even previous Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, a lot of the the skill based matchmaking that's in place isn't true skill based matchmaking. It's skill based matchmaking with lobby balancing, and what that entails is a skill based matchmaking system, or what they claim is a skill based matchmaking system, with their original system, which was lobby balancing. And I, I I've always had a problem with lobby balancing. I wish the games were just random. Because, like, for me and Danielle, it's a, it's a huge problem. Because me and her are good players, and usually what happens is there's medium players in the lobby, and then there's bad players in the lobby, all in our lobby. So it puts us with the bad players, and it kind of evens it out to a medium team, and then all the medium players go onto one team. So then you've got the medium players that are kind of pooping on the, the bad players, and we're pooping on the medium players but we have to basically 2v6 everybody so it's just it's it's a grind but that was always lobby balancing skill based matchmaking has made it even worse because it's a, supposedly people in your skill bracket but we usually see bottom of the barrel people still in our team i don't know how this happens i, I don't i don't have an explanation for why the skill based matchmaking in this game sucks so hard but 
it is what it is and it's it's frustrating a lot of people a lot of people over the call of duty community have you know complained about it you've got big creators like scump and nade shot and stuff like that they're all they're going after the skill based matchmaking they want to see it reduced there's actually quite a few bigger youtubers that actually reverse boost to get some of their easier kill games um and you can see that you can kind of tell like if you watch some of the gameplay from some of these youtubers you can you can see it it's it's not that hard to spot and if you guys are anything like us, like I'm an OG Call of Duty player, I've been playing since Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, stuff like that, and we never had these systems set in place. It was, you know, it was it was good players and bad players all in the same lobby, and, you know, sometimes we'd get smacked, other times we would do the smacking, but we, we had to grind our way up to be better players. Now it seems like everybody just gets a participation trophy, essentially, and that's that's just annoying. So, I don't know, Every day, all these damn snowflakes, it is what it is. But anyways, we're gonna show you how to reverse boost because getting into the easier lobbies is what everybody's trying to do. Nobody's trying to meta sweat. And if you are, for the love of God, play a league play game, do something else. This video is not for you. <laughs> and I'm sorry if that upsets you. So there's actually three ways to get into easier lobbies, which is what everybody's here to do, obviously. Um, one is reverse boosting, one is joining bad players, and then the other is actually joining yourself. And that last one kind of doesn't make any sense, but if you have two accounts, it's easy to do. Now, for having two accounts, you actually have to have two input devices, you know, an Xbox, a PlayStation, you have to have two of whatever, P PC, it doesn't matter. But we're going to go over the ones you can do by yourself pretty easily. We're going to go over those first. So the first way is reverse boosting. This is pretty easy. You go into a lobby. You can RPG yourself, you can throw nades at yourself, you can run into enemies, just run in blatantly shooting at the sky, it is what it is. You just go in, you die a whole bunch, you don't get any kills, or you get like one kill for every 20 deaths, or you know, something simple like that. And you can definitely see, I'll, I'll put some gameplay in here, you guys can definitely see just the difference in reverse boosting just a few games. I mean, this, this gameplay right here, this... This is five games. I had enough time to run around this guy, pretty much, and he couldn't shoot me. So, my, my movement's just better, I guess, and we're in... I don't know. It, it just... You can see the, the player skill degrade the, the further you get down into the brackets. Now, that's probably one of the easier ways to do it. Um, you just keep doing that. We found out that roughly five games is about what you want to do. Um, you start noticing a significant difference after about five games. If you don't really notice a significant difference, maybe keep going. Uh, your stats may be a little bit too high. It, it's possible. I've seen that before. But this this pretty much is the main way that people do it. The second way I'm going to show you is actually a little bit different. So there's an easy way, and not a whole lot of people know about this. You're going to go into a lobby. You're going to play it just like normal. You're going to figure out, you're going to end the game. You're going to figure out whoever the worst player on either team was. And then you're going to session join that person. When you session join that person, being they had a bad game, it's probably going to put you into a lower bracket. Now, if you keep doing this, you end up in a, uh, a bracket that you've never seen before. Trust me, it, it gets low. The bracket gets very low. But it, it works very well as well. The third and final one is actually going to be to session join yourself. Now, this only works if you have two Xboxes, two Playstations, an Xbox, PlayStation, a PC. You know, you have to have two accounts, basically. And this is how some of the bigger YouTubers do it, and they get their gameplays this way. Um, what you'll do is you'll have your you'll have a second account you'll have a really 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 bad account you want that account as close to like a 0.01 kd as possible just tank the living crap out of it into the ground as far as you can that's the account you want to start with and then you have your main account you want them both sitting in a lobby not together and you want the bad account to search for a game so your bad account will start searching for a game, and then when it finds a lobby that's not full, you'll actually session join your bad account, because at that point, you're in a bracket on your bad account. And then, right before the game starts, or after the game starts, you can back your other account out, or you can just let it idle and it'll kick itself eventually. But that is like one of the easiest ways if, if you have two inputs. That is hands down probably one of the easiest ways. Okay, shh. It's enough out of you. We're not going to give away all of our secrets. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button.
Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!